Thank you for clicking in. In this video, I'm going to do another pattern out of this book of these uh, artistic uh, patterns from Patrick Spielman. I did one with the horses all running in a line. I really liked that one. This was something similar. It's uh, horses, but they have a cloud of dust. You got three horses. These two go behind that one. I'm going to have to figure out some sort of a backing board probably see what I've got to, that I can scrape up but uh, I got three slightly different colored pieces of wood and I've got to drill all these all these holes and other than that it's not very complex to cut I gotta get these eyes cut out so let me get some holes drilled I'll probably do this as fairly thin wood and it's not a real hard wood so I'll probably use the number three to cut most of this
Okay, it's all cut out. I uh, made me a little backing board. You see it's raised. This was a real thin piece of wood. I like the look of it. It brings out the lighter color of that first horse on it. So the reason I kind of want to stay with it is the best one I had in, in all my scrap. But it was uh, very thin and uh, it was kind of warped a little bit. <clears throat> so I made some a little backing square on it to hold it flat and give it a little depth and uh, grounded the corners on the, on the sander. I've got it just sitting there now. It's not glued. I'm just lining it out. He has this uh, uh, it has it shows like that how he, uh, he mounted his. And so that's, I'm trying to go by that. That's just cut to go that way. And I've got some spacers in some places here to make those match up. It's just sitting there now. I don't have it glued. So now I'm going to glue it together. I've got the, the first horse marked where I can put it in place. And that's kind of what you got to work off of. So uh, let me get the stuff removed and lined out where I can keep up with which piece goes where. And I'll get some glue and we'll start gluing with that first horse. Okay, I'm going to call that the finished product. Uh, got a couple of coats of clear enamel on it. I had to do some of that inside because we're having a rainy morning. Uh, had to close, open the outside door and let the, let the shop air out, but I got a hanger on it. I've already hung it. it, it hang, I was afraid it might be unbalanced, but it hangs pretty good. So I'll put a photo of it up there, how it looks hanging on the wall. I don't like it as much as the other horse uh, art that I did, but this one's okay. It's, it's a little, little different, a little unusual. Uh, one of the things to make a difference is the thickness of the woods. They're different thicknesses. If I'd use thinner wood for all of them, this would be closer to the backing board. I don't know if that matters, but it would look different, I think. Uh, light sky shown on it just right so you can see that and see what it is. But... Uh, I kind of like that. It's different. It's unique. I've got one more horse-related pattern that I'm going to do. It's not near as complex as this. I'm going to stack a couple of pieces and cut that. I'll show that here in a few days, I hope. So thanks for watching. Uh, if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button and kind of see what I do. I'm not even sure what my next ones are going to be, and I'll surprise both of us. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you in the next video.